Hey, I'm Sarah Westwood for AMA Hits, and I'm here with Dan Werb and Paul Banwatt of the electro pop duo Woodhands. What's uh, up, dudes? We're doing great. How are you? <laughs> I'm great, thanks. How are you? I am doing awesome. That was a fabulous introduction, I just want to say. That was awesome. <laughs> Welcome back home to Vancouver, Thank Dan. you. Yeah, good to be back. So you guys are based in Toronto, correct? Yep. That's right. But you've lived in a bunch of different places, Dan. Yep, I have. And you're quoted as saying that Toronto is your favorite Canadian city. Yeah, uh, I guess you that's wanna, true. You take that back. No, here? no, I'm not rescinding. I'm not rescinding. I, I don't like to it. play favorites, but <laughs> well, you just did. You played but look, I, I you just played a favorite. I do Toronto. love Toronto. I do love Toronto. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I tell I, me why Toronto's better than Vancouver. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> look, it's oh, different. All right. <laughs> it's just different. It was a different time in my life. <laughs> I needed Vancouver for the time that I was in Vancouver. <laughs> now you need Toronto. Now that's I need right. Toronto. That makes sense. Let's get in. That's very awesome. So you guys met in uh, Henry Fabergé and the Adorables, right? Yep. Yep. How long ago was that? Four years. Yeah. It's been, <laughs> it's been, <Buddy. laughs> it's been a ride. Yeah. Uh, with Remorse Capade, you put it out pretty quickly after Heart Attack. What was yeah. the, and you were touring at that time. Yeah. So what was the creative process like when you were writing on the road compared to Heart Attack? I think that we felt like we could take more risks because we were trying out some of the bases of the songs live. So we would come up with grooves and things like that, and then those would inform what the what the end results of the songs would be. And we could test things out live and see how audiences responded to it. So doing that, I think we felt like we could take more risks. So when you play live, you avoid using samples and you create all those sounds yourself. Mm. That's pretty unique. Why is that important to you? I mean, That's a good question. <laughs> I, the short answer is A, I never learned how to do that stuff on a computer. And B, frankly, I use a computer all day. And it's like, I want to do something different when I'm playing a show. When I'm playing a show, I want that to be a separate experience from the rest of life. And it's just, frankly, it's more fun. It's like, it's like when people watch it, they can get it because there's nothing happening that's played by pushing a button that you can't see. You know, it's like all keys that you can see and instruments that you can yeah. feel. So, I mean, it's different. But also, I think there's something interesting about, like, when you're making music, sort of creating a set of rules and, like... Or limitations. And lim yeah, yeah, like, you know, because even within a set of limitations, there's so much you can do. Well, it forces you to be more creative. And for, like, three years, I only had one synth, and I'm so glad that my process evolved like that, because, you know, if you buy, if you have so many synths at once, or, you know, a million instruments or something, I think it's really hard to stay focused on one Thing. You make a lot of your music available to friends as free downloads. Yeah. What is your take on music downloading? I mean, I think it's great. I think uh, like the hip hop has it down so well. They've understood how, you know, if an artist releases a mixtape for free, and it can blow up and it can basically make your career. Yeah. Like you look at Drake, he had a couple awesome mixtapes. And then when his album came out, it was so highly anticipated based on the music that he put out for free. And that's, and like B.O.B. and um, and Wale and all these guys, man, like Nicki Minaj also, like I'm addicted to Nicki Minaj mixtapes and when her album drops, I'm definitely gonna buy it. So that model is so strong and it creates such goodwill between artists and fans because you know, here's someone sweating it out just to just to get noticed, and you know, throwing like the best of what they've got at uh, at their fans, which is amazing. And you've got a summer mixtape in the works. We do have a summer mixtape in the works. It's going to be out very soon. We're quite excited. You yeah. Can get one track of it for free already uh, off our MySpace or Twitter or Twitter. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, it's pretty easy to find if you go to woodhands.com and uh, yeah. yeah. It's going to be hot. For more info on Woodhands, check out woodhands.com and spread the good word.